Welcome aboard the Staten Island Ferry. For your safety, please note all emergency exits. Life preservers can be found in the lockers behind all seats. Thank you for riding the Staten Island Ferry. No, it's not. <clears throat> hey, are you okay, pal? I don't know. Well, why don't you sit down a minute before you hurt yourself? Okay. You fall or something, hit your head? <laughs> I'm not sure. What year is it? What year? Yeah. 2016. Really? Feels like 1995 to me. Oh. <laughs> 1995, that's a long time ago. Yes, so. Hey, listen, maybe you should find a doctor or something. No, I, uh, I think I just need a minute to get my bearings, that's all. I don't know how I got here. Probably walked on like everybody else. <laughs> I guess so. It really feels like heaven this time. This time? Yeah, I'm Larry, by the way. Uh, nice to meet you. John. <laughs> Has this happened to you before? Or what do you mean this time? Maybe. You don't remember? No. I don't remember <laughs> anything. What makes you think this is him? I don't know, the, uh, the rocking of the boat? Mm. Mm. Coming the motor? They, those things feel pretty heavenly to me. <laughs> they feel like an everyday commute to me. <laughs> hey, why don't you sit down a minute and let me see something? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I'm just checking your pupils. If they don't dilate, it could mean you have a concussion. And? Uh, you're okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's not every day somebody takes time to help a stranger, right? What was I going to do? Let you fall down and hurt yourself? Come on, they wouldn't do that. I'm not sure, but uh, I feel like people don't want to get involved. <laughs> How could you not get involved? I mean, how would you live with yourself if something happened? Because you don't need help. I don't know. Then again, I could see why most people might not want to. You never know if you're going to say the wrong thing and piss somebody get off and get hurt, right? Take you, for example. I could say something you didn't like and bam! I end up in St. Vincent's with 15 stab wounds. <laughs> 15 stab wounds? Who do you think I am? Oh, I didn't mean you specifically. I just meant people in general, you yeah? All I'm saying is, I should probably be more careful before I jump in next time. Listen, I appreciate it. Who knows what would have happened to me if you didn't jump in? And I'll bet there are rewards for people who do, you know? What rewards? In heaven. Ah. <laughs> what? You sound like a priest. Yeah? Maybe that's what I am. <laughs> if it is, you're wearing the wrong outfit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I wonder what happened to you. Listen, maybe we should try to find a doctor for you. No, I, uh, I feel like we'll be okay. How could it possibly be okay if you can't remember anything? I don't know, I did. Maybe this is all just, uh, preparing me for something. Yeah, like what? I don't know, like, uh, maybe I'm about to receive total consciousness or something. <laughs> Seriously? What? <laughs> You're Corey Kenny Shack? <laughs> what is that? It's a movie with no belly! Better be. 
bad. Oh, we found great. I just never heard anybody call it to describe their mental state before. Maybe I'm a fan of something. Or maybe I'm a movie critic. <laughs> Remind me of his character in the movie, actually. Bill Murray's out. He never seemed able to remember anything that was happening. And he was kind of crazy, too. Again, crazy. Ah, jury's still out on that one. You know what I think? What? I think this is just a milestone in my life or something. Huh. You mean a milestone? You know, one of those times when life shifts you in a whole new direction. Oh, you sound like my wife now. She talks about that touchy-feely stuff all the time. And you don't. Nah, not my thing. So you're saying that you don't notice when a major life shift happens? I don't even know what that is. You know, like the, uh, the day you started shaving and realized you weren't a boy anymore. Or when you knew it was time to leave your parents' house. Or, or when you decided to propose and get married. Big life changes. Uh, I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. What about the simple things then? The change of season, you know. The way the, <coughs> the leaves smell in the fall. Or the crisp air right before it snows. I guess I'm just not wired for that stuff. <laughs> I'm surprised. You don't notice those kinds of things, but you you do notice when somebody needs your help. I guess. You don't want to talk about this. I just don't see the value in those things. They have great value. It's how we mark the important moments in our lives. Don't you think it's odd that you can remember all of this, but you can't remember how you got on the boat? It's funny how the brain works, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But it doesn't make you worry? No. What's there to worry about? <laughs> Lots of things. Who you are, where you live. No, none of that matters, because in the end, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right in the end. What are you doing? I'm singing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? Mm, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, could you do me a favor, will you? If you suddenly realize you are crazy, could you give me a heads up so I'll know I need to get away from you, okay? I'll try. What wants to worry about? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If I were in that case, would I have been able to get on the boat by myself? I mean, don't you think someone would have stopped me? Not if you killed them first. Well, who do you think I am? I mean, look at me. Do I look like a killer? Uh, not yet. Uh, what's going to happen when your memory comes back? Nothing. I wouldn't hurt a soul. Look. Well, I wouldn't know. I've never met a murderer before. You still haven't. Well, we won't know for sure until your memory comes back, won't we? Come on. I'm wearing a bow tie, for God's sake. <laughs> what kind of a killer wears a bow tie? That dapper one? Oh, no, come on! <laughs> look at this sweater. Is this the sweater of a killer? It could be. It's not! I think I just like to sing, that's all. <laughs> Whatever this memory issue is, it'll work itself out. This, this is all happening for a reason. Like, maybe we were supposed to meet today. Maybe this is Kismet. Kismet. I don't know actually know what that means, but it sounded good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy smoke. Look at that city, isn't that something? It's alright. That's alright? How can you not love it? I ride the ferry every day. I don't even notice it anymore. Oh, you should. John, John, you really should. I mean, you can't take something like that for granted. What, are you the tourism board now? No, I'm just saying that life is short. And you should notice everything around you. I love that city. I think I wanted to live there. Mm. <laughs> I definitely wanted to. <laughs> just couldn't afford it anyway. Well, not a decent place anyway. The only place I could afford was a 6-4 walk-up with a bathtub in the kitchen. Ooh. Not good. <laughs> Especially if you have a wife. You said you're married, right? Yep. 12 years next Monday. Hey. Congratulations. <laughs> What's your name? Cheryl. Nice. 
You guys happy? Absolutely. Wow, no hesitation. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret of this happy marriage? I don't know. I, I pay attention to my wife, I guess. Aha! Uh -huh. So you do pay attention to something. What am I going to do? Ignore my wife? No. <laughs> and good for you. <laughs> you guys romantic? Uh, why are you asking? I don't know. I like to hear about happy marriage. Yeah. Yes. We're romantic. <laughs> What about your sex life? Pretty good too? Oh. <laughs> How kind of question is that? Uh, what? <laughs> you don't ask that kind of question. You don't? No, it's not your business. Sorry, I didn't realize. Oh, I'm not cool, Larry. You know what? <laughs> I think I'm going to find someplace else to sit there. No, 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 I didn't mean anything by it. It was an uh, innocent question. There's nothing innocent about that kind of question. Okay, then, uh, chalk it up to my memory loss. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not buying that either. You know exactly what you're saying. Honestly, I don't. I'm just excited that oh. you guys were happy, that's all. You were excited? Yes. No, no, I'm not trying what I mean. I mean excited for you. You know, because you guys were doing so well. Then why would you ask me that? I don't know. It just came out. I didn't mean to insult you. Normal people don't ask those kinds of questions. I understand now. Please, it was an honest mistake. I apologize. I, I hope that you'll accept my apology. I'm staying. But only because I'm worried the next guy's going to belt you if you ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm very, very sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. So... What about you, huh? What do you mean? How's your sex life? <laughs> okay, I see what you mean. It right? does feel icky. Sound very good. So, what about you? Uh, are you married? I don't know. Seriously? Yeah. And that doesn't make you crazy. Not really. Oh, I can't even imagine not knowing you my wife or my boys. <laughs> I'd die if I forgot my boys. How many do you have? Two. Philippe and Jean Luc. <laughs> Interesting names. Are you guys French or something? Nah. Uh, family names Duval. Cheryl wanted to honor my great uncle, so we gave him their names. Nice. The dead always like being remembered like that. How do you know? Everybody knows that. <laughs> Okay, everybody except you. <laughs> so the boys get teased with those names. We live in New York. Everybody has a foreign sounding name here. Hmm. Except for me, of course. John's pretty normal to us. I don't know. Was there a Baptist named John once? I guess. You don't like talking about yourself, do you? Not really. <clears throat> okay. Tell me more about the boys. Good kids? Why are you asking? I I'm just asking about your family. Nothing inappropriate, I promise. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Good, good kids. My boys are a reason to live, in fact. A reason to live? Your boys are a reason to live! Oh, what the hell is this? I don't know. Oh. Maybe I work on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What? I remember something. You remember if you're crazy or not? Yes. You are. No, I, I, not, I'm not. I, I remember something else. Then what? A light. I remember a brilliant light. <laughs> but, uh, this light of yours is uh, like a like a traffic light or a flashlight? No, uh, it's, it's was strong, like a like a headlight on a train, <laughs> and there was a a tunnel. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> what? You're talking about a subway. Really? Mm. The subway has a beautiful light, like an emerald or an opal. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it beautiful, but it's definitely the subway. Wow. I had no idea the subway looked like that. <laughs> you know, if I lost my memory and the subway was the first thing that came back, I'd go to the doctor's office in a second. <laughs> what for? They don't have pills to give you your memory back, do they? No. So why bother? My memory will come back when it comes back. I just need to be patient and trust that in the end it's going to be all right. Oh, seriously? Sorry. <laughs> it's not normal. It feels normal to me. It's not. <laughs> and this light of yours, is that all you remember? So far, yeah. 
I'd be freaking out in your shoes. Oh, it's a good thing. It means my memory is coming back. <laughs> How long have you been commuting on this thing? Feels like my whole life. <laughs> I've worked in Manhattan since I was 22. What do you do? You ask a lot of questions. <laughs> Just curious. I'm a freelance writer for Investors Business Daily. <clears throat> freelance? Yeah. People don't want to pay for papers anymore. They get some stuff for free online, they won't subscribe, so the company doesn't want to risk hiring a full-time staff. Mm -hmm. it makes it tough to earn a living, you know? Yeah, I bet. Luckily, Shell's got a pretty good job. She works? Oh, yeah. She's an interior designer. <laughs> Designs office space. <laughs> pretty successful, too. Has her own company. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do without it. Or what she would do without you, right? Where are you going with that? Nowhere. Just asking. <laughs> well, uh, my income is pretty small compared to hers, but uh, I'd like to think she'd miss me if I was gone. Or <clears throat> that's what she means. <clears throat> She's been so busy lately, though, I sometimes wonder if she even know us. Well, of course she would. You're her husband. Yeah, well, at least I have a peace of mind and she can support our kids. Does it bother you that she's more successful? No. We have even been toying with the idea of me working more from home so I can spend more time with the boys. I think most women would have a hard time staying home if their wives worked. <laughs> Not me. Cheryl's happy doing what she does. I got great boys. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You're a good man, John. You sound like my father now. <laughs> yeah. You're a good guy, too. Very. That's nice. <clears throat> so you're on your way home to see the family now? Uh, no, I'm headed to work. I thought you said you worked in Manhattan. I did. Are we going the other way? <laughs> what the? Hey, what time is it? I don't know. Oh, uh, this is working. Could you check yours? What the? I don't seem to have one. Oh. <laughs> we gotta have some tea. <laughs> 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 everyone. I don't know. The ferry's never empty like this. Really? Yeah, this isn't right. What's going on? Am I going crazy now? Why don't you sit down a minute, John? You seem upset. Wouldn't you be upset if you thought you were headed to Manhattan only to find out you're going the other way on a boat with no people? I suppose. Well, maybe this is something simple. Yeah, like what? A transition. Same as me. Oh, jeez. Don't sell the touchy-feely stuff. Not now. Okay, sorry. Yes. This isn't right. <clears throat> I gotta turn this ferry around. I gotta get to work. I don't think they're gonna turn it around just for you, John. They have to. I can't be late. This is your fault. How's it my fault? Because a minute ago, I was fine on my way to work. And then you came along. Next thing I know, we're headed to Staten Island. <laughs> and if it's not your fault, why aren't you upset? <laughs> because when I came through the light, what light? The one I was telling you about, remember? You mean the subway thing? I don't think it was the subway, John. I had to come through the light to get here. You don't go through a light to get on the ferry? You walk through a gate, same as everybody else. You know what, Larry? Just stop talking so I can figure this out, okay? Okay. All right, so, uh, let's see. I woke up this morning, I got dressed. Didn't show how to fire the box, I was going to pick up the kids. No, not a fight, it was an argument. Uh, I said, listen, I need you to pick up the kids this morning. She said she couldn't change her schedule. I said, are you kidding me? Of course you can. It's your company. Uh, wait a minute. We, we had that argument yesterday. You sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. Ah. Today, I ordered our ring. For our anniversary, so we'd be here in time. Oh, yeah. I remember because I showed a picture of the room to the boys, and I made them promise not to say anything for Monday. I remember they were really excited because I trusted them to keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> so, what day of the week is it then? It's Tuesday, right? It's definitely Tuesday. I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> 
but it still doesn't explain why I'm heading home instead of into the city. Do you work nights? Uh, no, I work when the exchange is open. Is that where the sun is when it's open? Uh, no, that's Jersey. The sun sets over. Jesus. What the hell's going on here? Why don't you try to relax, John? Give your memory a chance to come back. I don't have a memory problem, Larry. I, I have a getting to work problem. And a phone problem. And a you problem. <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? I remember why I'm here. <laughs> why? For you. Jeez, <laughs> uh, Larry, with all due respect, I, I don't need this right now. Okay. Let me know when you do. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. What do you mean you're here for me? To guide you home. I don't want to go home. I want to get to work. It's not the home I'm talking about. I mean, through the light. Ah, uh, uh -huh. uh -huh, Larry. Larry, didn't we agree you were going to warn me if you realized you were crazy? Didn't we say that? <laughs> yes. I'm not crazy. Then what are you? Guardian Angel. <laughs> oh, come on! You know my Guardian Angel? Yes. Hey, so what does that mean? I'm dead or something? I don't want to upset you. I'm already upset. I'm sorry. So wait a minute. You're saying you're my Guardian Angel and what, the, the Staten Island Ferry is heaven? No. Uh, it's more like a way station. A stopping point between your world and the next. This is stupid. Why would God make the ferry a way station? <laughs> it's familiar. A place you'd recognize where you'd feel safe after... Well, it's familiar, that's all. That's why you and I are the only ones here, and it's why the ferry isn't going where you expected it to. So wait a minute. You say I'm going to that? <laughs> I can't be that Larry. I'm only 37 years old. I got a wife and kids, for God's sake. I know. <coughs> if I'm dead, who's going to take care of that? Hmm? You said it yourself. Cheryl is perfectly capable. Yeah, uh, but not without me. You said that. This isn't fair. I'm sorry, John. Oh, sorry, it's not going to cut it, Larry. You know it as well as I do. This just isn't right. There is no right or wrong here, John. There's just what is. So wait a minute. If I'm dead, how did I die, huh? How did I die? Helping a girl. <coughs> you mean I got stabbed by a girl? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get stabbed. She was a little girl. She was crossing the street with her mother. She dropped her doll in the crosswalk. She went back to pick it up. Her mother didn't see where she was, and neither did the bus driver who was texting while she drove. But you did. You knew that that bus was going to hit that little girl. And you ran out on that road without hesitating, and you pushed her out of the way. So what happened to me then? There wasn't time for you to get clear. The bus hit you. Head on. But here's the extraordinary thing, John. You knew that bus was going to hit you. And you still didn't hesitate. Not for one minute. You saved that little girl's life even though you knew it would cost you yours. I can't be... I can't be dead, man. Please, let me come home. <coughs> I'm sorry, John. Please. 
I'm sorry. Through all this, why did I remember you all said? It wasn't an act. When you come through the light, you lose your memory. It's temporary, but it happens. What about my boys? Wait. Remembering, there's a cost for me too. Oh, well, what's that? I can't go back. Oh, what do you mean you can't go back? I gave up my place on the other side for you. I don't understand. We all felt that you deserved a place of honor for what you did. <clears throat> Why gave you mine? <coughs> so you're saying you chose to get stuck on the ferry? Not exactly. Well, what do you do then? Watch over your family. Huh. Weren't you the one watching over me? Yes. And I'm not sure I want you watching. But <laughs> I wasn't allowed to interfere with your decision to help that little girl. John, we are never allowed to interfere with those kinds of decisions. They're sick. But if it helps, I did try. So that's it then? I'm afraid so. I'm going to pitch my load carefully and show up. I'm going to have to suck. This isn't really about that. But I give you my word. It'll be alright. Mm. Cheryl will find her way. And your boys will grow up to be fine young men. See to it personally. What do I do then? Walk through there. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped in front of that bus, should I? <laughs> Choice, John. It's who you are.